In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how you can easily save your images the best way so that you can avoid these two things. The first thing being having blurry photos and the other being your images having to change in color after you have been able to post them or print them out. So this is a tutorial for you guys that have been having that issue of color change and having images that don't look sharp. And later on in this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a tip whereby you have to change a specific setting in your social media, maybe Instagram or even Facebook, so that you can post sharp images that does that rather don't lose in detail or that don't lose maybe a kind of sharpness and that nice and beautiful color. So without further ado, let's just get started with this tutorial. So remember we have been doing editing and you have spent so much time trying to edit your images and you have that nice and rich detail and you want people to look at it or see it when you post your images then this is what you have to do so let's just get a little information about this image i showed this image it was around 3 pm and the sun was just hitting her directly and this is what i opted for so i'm done doing the the color grading and retouching so this is the image before and this is the after before after i hope you can see the difference so after doing all this, we don't want our work to go into a waste. And for those interested in the color grading, I'm just going to link a card for you guys above, above here. So in order to save your image the best way, I know most of you guys tend to save your images this way. Let me first show you guys the wrong way you, you guys tend to use. So just, most of you just come right here and you come to save or save as. So when you come to save or save as, and you click on it and look for the format and you choose the format maybe jpeg it means that he's going to only embed the color profile and he's not going to convert the image into srgb so meaning all the color grading you may have done to your photo is going to go into waste and you're not going to be having that nice and, and rich color so you also have to convert it to srgb and also embed the color profile which is the rgb so if at all you save your raw files basically this most times happens with those people that retouch or edit raw files this is the wrong way of saving your images so the best two ways in order to save your images so the very first way is coming and saving for web legacy so when you come to file and you come to export and save for web legacy this is going to be one of the ways in which you will save your images to avoid that kind of change in color. So you can see right now we have this and we have the format which is JPEG. The quality of course has to be 100%. So always make sure to check these options right here. Optimize, make sure it is checked. Embed the color profile and also convert it to sRGB. So when you check these two options, it means that it's going to embed all the color colors that you embedded into the image. I hope you can understand that quite better. And after doing that, you can come and hit save in order to save the image in a given folder that you want to save your image. That is the very first way in which you can save your images so that you can have a sharper image. And if I told you want, of course, a sharper image, I forgot to mention this. Just come and also add by cubic sharper in order to sharpen the image even more after retouching it or editing it. So that is the first technique or method. So now the second method is simply, and for those that have been watching my tutorials, the second method is simply coming right here to file, export, and you come to export as. And when you come to export as, this is what I usually do. I know most of you guys tend to hit my DMs and maybe comment on YouTube or comment on Instagram about your images having to change in color and how I tend to have sharper images than you do in most cases. So this is what I do. When you come to the format, of course, you have to choose a format which is JPEG. And this is supported by more social media handles and websites. Quality, of course, you want 100% quality out of your image. Then, under the image size, I usually don't tamper with the image size right here. 
I usually leave it the way it is meant to be and I leave the scale at 100% so under resampling remember in the saving hole web legacy we added that kind of sharpness into the image so under resample just come and choose by cubic sharper because this tends to sharpen the image maybe for screen and also adds some kind of digital sharpening which is going to be added entirely into the image and doesn't involve or bring in the halo effect or that kind of fringing on the edges of your images so resample change it to by cubic sharper so I usually don't tamper with these options right here the width and height even here in the image size I usually don't mess up with them so under metadata this is why you have to pay maximum attention under metadata you can as well add copyright or you don't have any copyright that you want to add into the image you can leave it that is more maybe like more of a personal choice or preference so under the color space make sure to check these two options convert to srgb and also embed the color profile so meaning every adjustment that we added during the photoshop workflow it means that it's going to also be converted into srgb and also embed the color profile into the color space of photoshop meaning it is also going to be integrated into the image and is going to be part of the image so after doing all that just come to export and hit export and choose a location or a destination for our image and for this case we just want to save this uh, on the desktop so just come and hit save and it's going to save the image and automatically close this window usually this is going to be a long and tedious process for you to work with and it is going to stress you out at the end of the day but if at all you have very few beauty photos and you want them to be on point this is the technique that you have to use but if at all you have been retouching maybe a bunch or number of images the best way to do this is simply coming to file remember you have now more images and you want them to be saved within the shortest time possible this is more of a technique that you have to use if at all you don't have so much time at disposal in order to save your images just come to file then you come down to scripts and you come to image processor and right now you can see you have to select the images to process and for this case if at all you have been editing so many images use op use open images and the second option is where, where, where you have to select a folder in which you want to save your photos so you can either save them in the same location but i don't want them to be confusing or to confuse you at the end of the saving process so you can choose a, a folder and click on it and look for a folder where you want to save the images and maybe you can create a new folder and after selecting it it is where the images are going to be saved automatically then file type of course you want a jpeg and the quality you can choose between 1 to 12 so for this case a uh, quality of 12 because you want the maximum amount of your images also convert to srgb i hope you can see this when you convert to srgb it means that it's also going to embed the color profile for you and now you can even save it as a psd if at all you want or also as a tiff then you can as well include the icc profile so when you hit run it is automatically going to save all those open images into photoshop and you are going to be saving so much time after retouching so this is more of a shortcut for saving your images now what i wanted to share with you guys after i have been able to save it in the file like export format export as or save for obliga so remember you're going to be having a sharp image after saving it so right now you just want to learn how to post a sharp image so usually in facebook and maybe i've seen it also in instagram and maybe whatsapp too when you go to the settings and the media settings there is what we call the media settings whereby you have maybe video and 
you have photo quality and when you go to your Facebook settings you're going to see those options make sure to put everything for video and photo into HD and also for Instagram it is going to be in the settings choose HD and also WhatsApp choose the image preferences and maybe you can go to the media settings and look for the highest quality and don't leave it in the standard quality just look for the highest quality and change it from recommended and you're going to be able to post very sharp and crisp images on social media so basically this is the best way to save very sharp and detailed images and also images that are, are not going to be changing in color after you've been able to save them in photoshop so this is all for today's story and if at all you have learned something new don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating